Hello everybody, how you doing? Welcome to this exciting series. Yes, series, I said. We're having another exciting series of Bob the Sideman. Um, I've decided to feature Gerber Omega 5.0 software for sign guys. Now, the Omega 5 software, you can do all kinds of graphics with it and everything. But online, I was looking on YouTube and some other places. All I want is a basic understanding of using Gerber uh, Omega 5.0 for making traffic signs. Nothing else, just traffic signs. And I can't find anything anywhere. All the tutorials have um, complicated stuff that I would never ever use and stuff. So I decided to make my own series of the Gerber Omega 5 software for traffic sign layouts. And you use it, I have a GraphTech uh, plotter cutter and I'm going to use it with that. But I'm going to take you kind of step by step. We're going to first start with uh, the basics. We're going to build a a, um, a um, sign blank. And then we're going to show you how to put the borders on and how to add the text. And then I'm going to take it a step further. We're going to, um, I'll show you how to stretch out the text so it's all, you know, MUTCD compliant and everything. And then we're going to get into symbols and stuff like that. And it should be enough general knowledge for everybody to refer back to these award-winning videos to um, get a grasp on using the Omega-5. Because I struggled with it when I first started, and I still am. I'm learning things here and there. And all the tutorials and books I've read on it and stuff, it just has so much stuff that I would never, ever use. So this is just for the sign guys out there. Just basic information on Gerber Omega 5.0. I'm not into Flexi yet. I haven't got that program. I at the Napa County here where I make the traffic signs. We just have this program that we use, and I've had a couple people now um, ask about it, and so I thought I'd make a little um, how-to videos on it. So enjoy the series. There'll probably be oh, who knows how many, but this is exciting. I know everybody just probably just pins and needles, and, and so we're going to get going into the series right away. Coming at you from none only. Then Bob the side man. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to this exciting series of Bob the Sign Man. Yes, a exciting series. I'm saying not just an episode, but many episodes. Well, there won't be many, but there'll be some. Um, we're gonna um, explore Omega. What's well, actually Gerber Omega Five software? I'll kind of show you what I've learned with it. I'm not very 100% proficient in it, but I get by well enough to make any traffic sign I need to make. Um, so if you like any of my videos or any of my helpful hints, you can catch Bob the Sign Man at www.bobthesignman.com, all one word. I do. Uh, you can check out the various things I post on my page. I do have a link at the bottom where you can contact me, email me, uh, there's a direct line into my shop at the county. I'm there sometimes not. Anyways, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. On YouTube, you can find me at Bob the Sign Man. Facebook, you can find me at Bob the Sign Man. And on Pinterest, you can find Bob the Sign Man. See the theme there? Anyways, let's jump into Gerber Omega 5.0 software. Here's the program when you open it. I'm using the 5.0 at the county of Napa, where I make all the traffic signs, install them, maintain them. And I'm sure there are other upgrades, but we just haven't upgraded yet. Um, not that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I just don't want to learn new tricks right now because I'm basically just making traffic signs. And if I start making other stuff with graphics and all this other stuff, they have the printers. I'll never get my own work done. I'll just be doing stuff for other departments who have a budget well enough that they can afford that, but they want to come over and suck the life out of my budget, and I don't like that. Anyways, so here's a basic overview. When you get started with your um, Omega-5, you'll open it up like that. And the first thing you're going to say if you've never used a program like this is, holy crap, look at all those controls. Well, don't feel so bad because I don't think I know what half of them do, and I probably only use a quarter of them. I just have them up there because I think it looks cool. Um, I don't know if it looks cool. I just want everything up there because I don't know why. Um, my goal is someday is to learn what all those buttons are, but for now. So opening up and you, you um, obviously everybody's going to be making signs and stuff, but I'll kind of just walk you through and show you what some of this stuff is. 
Down below you have a color palette that you can change from and you can change the, the colors of any of the the signs you want. I'm just going to make a quick sign blank here. Nothing nothing fancy. Um, just a simple little blank. And in another video I'll show you how you do this but for now. Um, so there I have my simple blank. And this little arrow here is a pretty handy little tool. It's always it's like your selection tool. Whenever you do something I always go back and I grab that arrow. I want to center this and I'm just going to press the control bar or the space bar I'm sorry. Let's see how it centered it. Now I have all these color choices back here. I can turn this blank anything I want. See now it's it's like inactive and you want to activate this so you just click on it and see how it's highlighted at blue and you got all the little dots and stuff and say I want to make it blue. Hit the F8. See I turned it all blue. Uh, I want to do this color here. See it turned it that color. Uh, how about a lighter blue? A brown whatever as long as you have it highlighted you can select whatever whatever color you want but for all intents and purposes I'm just gonna make it yellow now because that's kind of like the basic traffic sign that we ever ever use so that's kind of how you um, you got the color palette down there and if you want to change it I don't usually change mine I just leave it like that and I can find just about any color I need for traffic signs because I've got my black my green my blue my red my yellows um, some browns and what more do I need for a traffic sign? Probably nothing else. Um, down here, you'll see the little arrow, these little colored boxes here. Like if you go here, it brings up a menu and you can change all the palettes you want. I stick to the Gerber 220 Scotchel series, whatever that is. Um, and it, it leaves all these here. You can explore the different color bars if you want. I know um, there's a... Uh, here we go, um, Scotch Light Series 1170. That's all your EC films that um, 3M has and stuff. But I said I don't really mess with that too much. I just leave my colors like that. So, and th these tools, um, if you like right click it, you'll see view toolbars. And here's all the options. You can turn them off and on and stuff. And Basically, I've turned everything on except for this layer manager. I don't know why. Never used it, so I really don't care. And you can turn them on and off, and it'll it'll turn some of these on and off up here. And I don't know, like I said, what half of them do anyways. So I just ha have my basic tools that I use. And I like this one that I run on the side because I always run over to the side and I'm always making stuff. But the same tools are up in here you just have to look for them there in different places but I like mine all grouped into here and these toolbars are kind of fancy to have um, this is the Gerber cut targets toolbar and then this one is the I forgot what this one's called anyways so if you want to do your text it, it sets up text you know you want to put a sign in um, you know make a sign or whatever and you want your text to go in there most of the time up here when you're doing a text it'll give you a drop down menu and there's all kinds of fonts to use okay hundred I don't know hundreds but there must be over a hundred of them here anyways all I worry about when I'm making traffic signs is you want to stick with the highway gothic okay and you have series A, B, C, D, E and F and then you have the modifieds I don't go to the modifieds because oh, let me show you what the modifieds I'm going to get rid of this thing real quick. So what the modifies will do, say I, I want to set up a um, Highway Gothic Series C. six, And this is the little text right here that will give you the, um, the size. You can change it just by, you know, if you want five inch letters. Usually I'll stick with six, whatever. Whatever your sign spec calls for that's what you'll set it at so let's try something here um i know these will show up a little bit better let me put um let's do a w and a k a t and a v i'm showing you these because of the um see these lines how sharp and pronounced they are you know they come down and they make the nice sharp um, points 
so that's the highway gothic that's the um like the non revised so now i'm going to show you what a, a modified w looks like let's go down to the highway gothic highway gothic modified c I just did the W real quick and I'll show you the difference here. As you can see now with our W's how they come down and you had that pronounced cut in there. Well, what this did is it kind of rounded out a little bit. Okay. What I found out when you're weeding these out, it's these are much easier to weed. But these are the standard letters that you use is the ones with the pronounced cuts. I don't know you could probably get by with those on some stuff, but I like to stick to everything to be specced. So what I usually will do is I won't use the modified. I'll use use the um, Highway Gothic non-revised. He says non-AK revised. That's the one that I stick with. So this is your your alphabets, your fonts that you, you want to use. Your um, Go down and you'll find them under the Highway Gothic, and I stay away from the modifieds. I just use the basics up, up on the top part of it. That's kind of what you want to use. So there's basically your um, your lettering. And I do know what this thing does. If you ever want to do anything with your text or anything like that, if you just click on the text and you can drag it across, you can come up uh, here and see this is your slant. This will change your slant. Um, me back that up to 0.5. See how it slanted the letters? Let me uh, clear that up. See how they're kind of slanted a little bit? Well, don't do that because unless your sign calls for a spec to be slanted or anything, just make sure that that's always left zero. And then when you hit your enter, see how it'll straighten them back up again. Uh, that's just one of the tools. I don't ever use that. Um, I think it's included on that toolbar because of the font and then the size. To change the size of your font, suppose those are six inch and you want, oh, I want four inch letters. You just um, highlight all those, come up here, highlight that, and just enter your four and it changes them to four inch letters. It's really simple, a little tool, kind of, it's a good little tool. Um, so that's basically your, your, um, your lettering. Um, some of these other tools, um, you know, you can use this to, to zoom in and zoom out. Let me get my letters back again. Um, so you can use it to zoom in if you want a particular area you're zooming in or zooming out on. You can make them as big or as small as you want. And whenever you um, get done with something, you can always just press your selection tool and that'll get you right back to where you want it again and since these were all done they weren't done separately they were done in a series so whenever you highlight it you can just move them around to wherever you want and it does have a uh, if you notice these series of dots around your lettering you can drag them out but see how it distorts the letters so that's not usually a good thing to do bring it back to its regular size if especially if you're making an on spec sign you don't want to have the uh, font any different than it's, it's supposed to be so that's kind of a little um, basic intro here to um, letters and, and uh, let's see it does have a little tape measure thing here if you want to measure something and get kind of the size of it, it, it see it'll give you the distance and I, you just have to play around with it. I don't use it that much. As soon as you click your selection tool, it'll, it'll make it disappear. Um, another thing this has too, which is pretty cool, is you can set up some guidelines. So I can set up some guidelines and if I hit this. You can use your arrows on your keyboard and you can move the whole thing around and see how the bottom of these turn red. So now I know it's exactly on that line I can bring it over to this line here. Kind of hard 
you see that you can see where it turned it red so i know it's actually centered in there it's just kind of like little guidelines that you can use for these and i know they do have some that it's like a train wreck for me where you can do these like 45 angles or whatever and i haven't quite been able to figure those out so they do all kinds of weird things and I just don't use them and to make those disappear to bring them in you just come up to the see the top here just press down on your left button and you can grab down you can grab as many as you want and to get rid of them you just bring them back up to the top off the screen and you can you can hide those little guidelines so I just thought I'd kind of do a little intro here um, some of the tools that you'll have up here we'll, we'll go through these later um, it's 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 kind of a confusing program when you first start unit it's just like using it it's just like anything else you know once you get used to it you'll find your way around um, so this little series I'm just gonna be doing little excerpts on how to make a sign blank how to do um, we're gonna show how to do borders and making colors and make and making shapes and stuff and um, what have you so I don't want to get into this whole lengthy hour and a half video so this will just be my short little series on um, the Gerber Omega 5.0 so next video coming up we're gonna be doing some shapes making shapes which will be setting up your sign blanks and borders and stuff like that alrighty thanks for watching this first exciting series episode mm -hmm.